The Brussels S-Train network is a commuter rail system serving the Brussels metropolitan area, home to over 2.5 million people and its surrounding regions. It aims to provide frequent and reliable connections between the city center and suburban towns, improving regional mobility. Originally known as Réseau Express Regional in French and in Dutch as Gewestelijk Express Net, the system is now officially branded as S-Train, in line with naming conventions used in countries like Germany, Switzerland and Austria. However, despite being in the works for decades and promising big improvements, the Brussels S-Train project hasn't yet reached its full potential. Delays in construction, political hurdles and money problems have pushed the completion date way back. Now it looks like the full network won't be ready until at least 2033. So what exactly is the Brussels S-Train? Why has it taken so long to complete? And what does the future hold for this ambitious yet troubled railway project? Let's find out! Before we dive in, a quick heads up. If you like what we do and want to support the channel, consider joining us on Patreon, becoming a YouTube member or grabbing some of our official merch. The links are down below, thanks a lot for helping us keep these videos coming. Also, for those of you who'd like to dive even deeper into the world of railways, don't miss our ebook comprehensive guide to some of the most fascinating railway systems around the globe. Your support truly helps us keep the channel going and growing, so thank you! And now let's talk about the Brussels S train. The Brussels S train network has a long and evolving history. Although the official launch of the system was on December 13, 2015, plans and preparatory works date back several decades. Early efforts in the 1970s and 1980s included opening new stations and running frequent commuter services, but comprehensive suburban rail planning only gained momentum in the late 1990s. Before the official S-Train network was introduced, SNCB, Belgian railway operator, tested the concept with a system called City Rail. These were upgraded train sets operating on existing L-Train routes with six designated lines by the end of 2005. Except for CR1, all City Rail lines passed through Brussels' crucial north-south connection. Although they were intended to be a distinct service, City Rail trains eventually began appearing on other lines as well. By December 2012, the City Rail brand was discontinued and all services reverted to standard L trains. Significant infrastructure projects such as the Schumann Josaphat Tunnel have been crucial in connecting key parts of the network, although some openings were delayed due to external factors. Since its launch, the network has continued to adapt, with regular updates in 2020, 2021, and 2024 modifying line routes and service patterns to better serve the Brussels metropolitan area. Today, the S-Train network remains a work in progress, gradually expanding and improving towards its goal of high-frequency suburban rail service. The network comprises 12 main lines, each labeled with an S followed by a number, running through Brussels and linking key destinations such as Halle, Mechelen, Leuven, Ottenies and others, along with an additional line that operates during peak hours. Some of the main S-Train lines currently in operation or development include S1, connecting Antwerp and Nivelles, linking major residential and economic hubs. S2, running between Leuven and brain le Comte through Brussels. S3, serving the route between Dendermonde and Gerardsbergen. S4, connecting Als to Mechelen. S5, linking Mechelen to Gerardsbergen. S6, running from Zottegem to Gerardsbergen. S7, connecting Brussels-Luxembourg and Mechelen. S8, from louvain la neuve to Zottegem. S9, operating between London and Brussels Luxembourg. S10, from Als to Dendermonde. S19, running between Brussels Airport, Zaventem and Charleroi, passing through Schumann and Brussels Luxembourg. S20, linking Leuven to Ottenies. 
In addition to the main lines, there is also the S81 between Scherbeck, Brussels Schumann, Ottenis, and Louvain La Neuve, which operates during peak hours and provides extra connections between Brussels and surrounding areas, helping to ease congestion during the busiest times. There are plans to make this line a regular service later this year. The goal is to offer frequent services, ideally every 15 minutes on core sections, by upgrading infrastructure and adding tracks where necessary. While some lines are already partially operational, full network functionality depends on ongoing construction and modernization projects, with completion expected over the coming years. Let's now take a quick look at some of the key technical characteristics of the Brussels S train system. The network is built on Belgium's national railway infrastructure, and as such it uses standard gauge tracks measuring 1435 mm. All lines are fully electrified at 3 kV DC, which is the standard across the country. In terms of scale, the S-Train network spans a radius of about 30 km around Brussels, covering roughly 370 km of route length. It includes a total of 144 stations, with 34 stations located within the Brussels capital region itself. The maximum speed for Brussels S-Train services can reach up to 160 km per hour in certain sections of the network, especially on modernized tracks designed for higher speeds. However, in more urban or congested areas, speeds are often limited to lower levels for safety and operational reasons. Most of the Brussels S train services are operated using the modern MS08 Siemens D0 electric multiple units. These trains are designed specifically for frequent suburban travel, offering good acceleration and passenger comfort. However, some older train sets are still in use. The MS86 trains run on several lines, including the S5 between Mechelen and Edingen, the S7 from Vilvoorde to Halle, and the S9 between Landen and Nijvel. During peak hours, you can also spot drag trains, traditional locomotive hauled coaches, operating on the S3, S6 and S10 lines and during school rush hour, an MW41 unit runs on the S6 line between Alst and Gerardsbergen. A major infrastructure milestone for the S-train system was the construction of the schumann josephat tunnel, a 1.25 km underground rail link connecting railway line 161 brussels namur with line 26, the Eastern Ring Line. This connection enables S-Train services to directly link the European Quarter with Brussels Airport, eastern suburbs and the southern part of the network, bypassing the congested north-south corridor through Brussels Central. Construction of the tunnel began in June 2008 and was divided into two main phases. Excavation of the tunnel shell, completed by late 2011, and installation of tracks and systems, which was originally planned to finish by late 2013. However, delays pushed the actual track laying to 2014, with full completion and safety testing in early 2016. The tunnel was initially scheduled to open on December 12, 2015, as part of the Brussels S train transport plan, but its inauguration had to be postponed due to the Brussels lockdown following the November 2015 terrorist threat. After safety testing was finally conducted in February 2016, and the tunnel was officially opened on the 4th of April 2016. The total cost of the tunnel was approximately 210 million euros, financed through Beliris, a partnership between the Belgian federal government and the Brussels capital region. The project was managed by Infrabel, Belgium's rail infrastructure operator. The schumann josephat tunnel plays a critical role in redistributing rail traffic in Brussels and expanding the capacity of the S-train system, especially for lines S4, S5 and S9, which now benefit from faster and more direct routing through the eastern part of the city. While a lot has already been done, major infrastructure upgrades on the Brussels S-Train network 
are still happening to make the system faster and more reliable. Right now, work is focused on doubling tracks on busy lines like line 124 between Linkebeek and Nivelles and line 161 from Brussels to Ottinese. This means more trains can run without delays by separating local commuter trains from faster intercity ones. Back in early 2016, things got tricky when Federal Mobility Minister Jacqueline Gallant openly admitted that money problems were slowing down the project. Some key upgrades had to be put on hold, which didn't sit well with local communities or city leaders. The planned doubling of lines 124 and 161 was deprioritized, and similar projects in Ghent and Antwerp were put on hold, despite Antwerp's suburban network being in an advanced stage. These decisions sparked criticism from affected municipalities and city authorities. Facing backlash, Gallant partially backtracked the next day, but the controversy weakened her political standing. She was later replaced by François Bellot, who in July 2016 announced new funding for the S-Train. Full completion of the project is now expected no earlier than the end of 2033, following years of delays and setbacks. At the same time, they're upgrading the signaling system with a European train control system. Infrabel, the Belgian infrastructure manager, is progressively equipping the railway network with this signaling system. The goal is to have the entire Belgian network, including the S-train lines, using ETCS by the end of 2025. Stations are also being improved, platforms are getting longer for bigger trains, bike parking is being added, and connections to buses and trams are getting better. There's also work finishing up on tunnels and bridges, plus expanding train depots so the new trains can be maintained properly. While early estimates range between 1.4 to 2.2 billion, the ongoing S-Train project is now expected to cost around 3.5 billion euros, approximately 1.3 billion euros, over the inflation-adjusted plans. Exact ridership numbers for the Brussels S-Train network are not publicly available. In 2024, the SNCB reported around 245 million passenger journeys across its entire network, including suburban and intercity lines. Considering the Brussels S-Train serves a metropolitan area of about 2.5 million people and typical ridership patterns in similar European suburban rail systems, a reasonable estimate for Brussels S-Train ridership is between 20 and 25 million passenger journeys per year. In 2024, Belgian rail passengers faced significant frustrations, losing over 4,600 minutes due to train delays. While punctuality showed a slight improvement, with nearly 90% of trains arriving within 6 minutes of the scheduled time, many commuters still struggle with service reliability. This ongoing issue remains a major concern for daily travelers relying on the Belgian rail network. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Brussels S train network, don't forget to like and subscribe for more railway content from around the world. If you want to support the channel and get exclusive extras, check out our Patreon page. Also, don't miss our ebook packed with detailed railway insights. The link is in the description below. And if you're into cool railway merch, we've got you covered there too. See you in the next video, and until then, happy travels on the rails!